hey youtube welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel um so in today's video i'm just doing this outro outro is that how you say it outro um wig and it's a mullet essentially and i got it in the color ginger brown that's what i was feeling because it's fall you know um i started to get the blonde one but i was just like mm, it's fall let's go with something different you know um, the inside of the cap was whatever. It's a cheap wig, nothing major, less than fifty dollars. You know, um, so you get what you pay for, essentially. Um, so I just threw this wig on my head. Uh, it kind of looked crooked too. It seems like it was crooked, but I promise you, it wasn't. Like, and that was kind of throwing me for a loop too. Um, I think it might have been the way it was laid in the packaging, like that it made the hair twist to one side of the um like one side of my head i don't know why um but at this point i'm feeling like rick james i'm not even gonna lie to you i was not liking it it looked crazy i was like mm, this video might get scrapped you know um but at this point i'm essentially oh my ring going off sorry y'all um essentially i'm just parting the hair in sections i kind of wanted like a first layer down low you know um before i went into to the top or whatever i want to you know start in sections because i really don't know what i'm doing y'all i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all like i like i knew exactly what to do i really didn't i was winking it i've never had a mullet so this is new to me you know what i'm saying so i was trying to go for like a 90s vibe um um these are the tools i used essentially just razors shearing scissors things like that um and honestly i just go in throughout this whole entire video switching up my tools just doing whatever i think i need to do in that section um so at this point i'm just trying to thin the hair out because the hair was so thick like and i just wasn't messing with it i'm like okay let's just cut some of this down some you know um i did want full bangs like i i wanted it to look like bangs i didn't want it to just look like a mullet you know i wanted it to look like a mullet but her mullet has bangs you know what i'm saying if that makes sense so this is me just trying to you know shape up my little bangs okay so now at this point I'm going in to thin out the hair on the sides of my head because I still want it to be mullety. So like I want the sides of my head and the top of my head to be short and just to have the back, just that one little piece in the back long. So essentially at this point, I'm trying to cut out the, cut out my ears essentially, cause you can't even see my ears. So I'm just trying to show my ears, um, but I'm not trying to cut too much. You see, I'm trying to just like, thin it out a little bit because i do like the fact that it's hugging my face like that like the long piece is curling into towards my chin or whatever um so that's the concept like this is the first little base of what i was going for i was liking it i like the concept that i had um going in with the little shears just to thin it out some more because it was thick on that side like it wouldn't even lay down um so yeah now i'm just gonna go into the top and do the same thing that i did down to the first layer you know thinning it out going on my razor randomly just trying to cut in some layers and to make it look cute and not just flat to my head like that like because that's ugly Okay, so while you're in the process of layering and thinning out the hair, you do want to go through it and just, you know, get a little feel for it. See how it's looking. So you see how I'm just like combing my fingers through it, seeing what I like, seeing how the layers is going. That's essentially what I was going to um, do throughout the whole time. So now I'm just taking my flat irons and I'm just going in and just adding a little volume. And then I do have my flat irons on the lowest heat. Um, because like I said, this is a cheap wig. I did not want to burn this wig. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in, curling all around my head, just trying to get a little volume to it. I'm going to go in with my scissors and stuff again, just to thin it out some more and give more layers. But I need to see what it's looking like. So I went in with my flat irons just to curl it, get a vibe, 
see what I like, see what I don't like, see what I need to change up, see what I need to cut off. Because one thing about it, I would rather go in and cut more off in the end than to have cut off too much and I can't do nothing about it. So I'm like, let me style it a little bit so I can see what it's looking like. That, so that's essentially what I'm doing right now. And yeah. Now the back of the hair, it was a little too thick and a little too long for my liking. Um, you could have left it like that, but I just didn't really like it. It was giving 70s vibes, um, rock star vibes, kiss vibes, and I just wasn't, I wasn't in the mood for that. So I'm just going in with my shears and thinning that out. And I'm also just cutting it a little shorter too, because I kind of wanted it to hug like the back of my neck. I didn't want it all the way down my back. Um, and I wanted it to be cute where it can like all flow together like it's all meant to go curl under my face and around my neck like that. And if I ever decide to change it and flip it the other way, like the back ends, I could and it'll still be cute that way. So that's why I chose this length. Um, so yeah, if you want to keep it long, just keep yours longer. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta thin it out if you don't like it like that. Um so this is me still just trying to see what I look like, see if I like it. And at this point, I'm like, okay, it's okay, but I'm not really sure. I start getting a little nervous. And then I realized I never really even curled my bangs. So they just flat to my head. Um, so this is me just going in and curling my bangs a little bit. Just give it a little, a little oomph. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just flat. Like this wig is so flat to your head. It's just straight on your head. So if you don't do nothing to it, it's probably gonna look a mess. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, so now, of course, I'm going in again on my sh my shears. I was about to say my shears, my shears, just to go in and get a little some some. So after I did that, this is how it came out, y'all. It was cute or whatever. I'm kind of feeling it. I don't really know. Um, you see how on the side it looked like that side is so much thicker. I don't know why this side of my head was thicker. But it still came out cute. I like the way it's hugging my face like this. Um, and then, you know, of course, just going to go in with a little extra touches. See what I like. See what I don't like. See what I want to change up. Like this side, for instance, it was still thick. So I just wanted to go in and thin it out a little bit. And then blend it in with my bang. Because I just felt like it was too much going on on that side of my face. Um, so this is me just going in and cutting it. Uh, thin it out a little bit with the shears and then I'm just gonna take my flat irons just to flatten it out a little bit because after I cut it of course the hell went crazy like what's going on so once I did that it was cute period look at it like love to see it love it cute beautiful gorgeous all of that yes come on period Okay, bye y'all. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope y'all like this wig. It came out cute. I wasn't expecting it, but hey, I love it. See y'all. Bye.